What's going on guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another one. Over the years and as time has went on here on the channel, uh, Instagram, Facebook page, wherever it might be, I've continued to get quite a few questions on what my everyday carry setup looks like. And just want to take a little bit of time here, probably going to be a pretty quick video and just kind of give you a rundown on what I use as my everyday carry uh, pistol. So what we have here is a Glock 19 Gen 3. This is safe, unloaded, and we'll just start here with the magazine. Uh, I do run factory Glock magazines, and I also use uh, Magpul mags as well. Um, moving on over to the holster, uh, I rotate between two to three different holsters, but the main one that I use is this Kydex holster by uh, T5 Custom Kydex. You guys can check them out, find them on Instagram. They make some awesome products and uh, can be you know fully customizable, tons of different color patterns. This one's just kind of like a black multicam. Um, but this is nice because I was able to custom order this just like I wanted to where it fits my weapon light and then it's, you know, cut out to where I can still run my uh, red dot sight. So we'll just move right into this and kind of give you guys a rundown of what I've done to this pistol or what has been done to it. Um, on the internals, I'm actually uh, just using the factory Glock trigger. No changes there, and I'm running a factory Glock barrel. No changes there as well. Going up front here, I'm a big fan of the Streamlight uh, TLR1 HLs. Uh, just awesome light. It's got you know the option to click it and leave it on permanently. It's just real easy to get your thumb up there and activate the light. So just real simple really really bright light you just got that in kind of the tan the flat dark earth to kind of match everything else I actually sent the slide off to get it cerakoted uh, milled for the trigicon rmr and added some more stippling here um, just a little bit more meat a little bit more substance to grab a hold of to rack that slide because typically this is just smooth all the way up here and that just gives you a little bit more contact area, a little bit easier to grab a hold of in case your hands are sweaty, uh, it's raining outside. And really the only other thing that I've really done to this is uh, just went with the flat dark earth colored uh, mag release. Uh, that's actually an extended version too, so it's a little bit more sticking out there, a little bit easier um, to, to you know activate and, and release your mags. And then uh, a flat dark earth um, and a little bit bigger of an extension on the slide stop as well. Um, just a little bit easier to, to reach up and activate that slide stop. Works pretty well. And then, as I've already mentioned here, I uh, did have this milled out so I could run my Trigicon RMR. Huge fan of red dots on pistols. And I really think this is, you know, way of the future. There's a lot more uh, factory offerings already milled to accept red dots. Once you get used to it, it's just a lot easier on target acquisition. And then the only other thing really is I went with a Mary Glow. Uh, these are suppressor height sights. That way, um, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video, but that way I can still co-witness if for some reason my red dot went down, the battery failed, uh, the lens breaks, whatever it might be, I can still co-witness and see the suppressor height sights through the actual RMR in the event that the RMR would not be working. So hopefully you can see that there on video. Uh, move my thumb out of the way. You can see there, uh, you got the red dot, which looks really big in the video for some reason, but uh, you can actually see your front sight post just fine. Hopefully that, hopefully that picks up for you guys and you can see that there. But that's kind of it really. Uh, just a quick run through there. Like I say, no changes as far as the internals, but that's all I've done or had done to it. Uh, did not do any weapon stippling of any sort here on the handle or the frame itself. Uh, kept that all factory and it just fits my hand really well. It's just a really good size for me. Comfortable in the hand, fits well. And like I say, I love that light. It's just real easy to get up there, activate. Uh, your weapon light when needed, if needed, and uh, yeah, running 
factory Glock mags or Magpul mags, but that's pretty much it guys. Um, everything fits in there real nice. I did have the option to either put the rear sight post um, in front of the RMR or behind, and I wanted to get the RMR just a little bit closer to my eye uh, back towards the end of the pistol, so I chose to go ahead and put the uh, rear sight post in front of the RMR. Um, I really like it. I wasn't real sure at the time when making the decision, but definitely super happy that I went that route. But yeah, super happy with this. Love Glocks. You know how pistols are. You know how Glocks are. It's like Ford versus Chevy. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Try to get back to those as quickly as I can. Make sure and subscribe and like this video. It really helps out the algorithm on the uh, YouTube metrics. So appreciate all you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.